This is the United States, a land with full of opportunities. However, behind the beauty and allure, some cities hold a reputation that's far more dangerous than you'd expect. Before you pack your bags and make the big move to America, there's something you need to know. In this video, we'll explore the 10 most dangerous places in the country that you should be aware of. Stick around, because what you will learn might just change your plans or help you make more informed decisions. And hey, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Chicago, Illinois Let's start with the windy city, Chicago. Ah, Chicago, where the skyline kisses the clouds and deep dish pizza is practically a religion. With a population exceeding 2.7 million as of the 2020 census, this city pulses with life. But beneath its vibrant energy lies a darker side, one that's not just the stuff of Hollywood thrillers. You see, Chicago's reputation for crime is more than just a storyline. In areas like West Garfield Park, the numbers paint a grim picture, an alarming 13,135 crimes per 100,000 residents. Yes, you heard that right. From shootings to robberies, the city is locked in a battle against its own shadows. Despite the government's ongoing efforts to stem the tide of violence, it's a city where caution is more than just a suggestion. It's a necessity. Chicago is a place of stark contrasts, where the richness of its culture is constantly at odds with the harsh reality of its crime statistics. If you're planning a visit, keep your eyes open and your wits about you. This is a city that demands both respect and vigilance. Moving on to number 9, we have Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, a city that's home to around 500,000 people, according to the latest estimates. Sure, it's known for its lively culture and thriving music scene, but there's another side to Atlanta that doesn't make the tourist brochures. In 2022, the Atlanta police recorded over 22,000 index crimes. That translates to about 44.8 crimes per 1,000 residents, a statistic that might make you think twice before walking alone at night. And if you're curious about where these numbers are coming from, Oakland City is the place to look. This neighborhood holds the title for being the most dangerous in Atlanta, with a violent crime rate of 1,246 per 100,000 people. From thefts to robberies and everything in between, Oakland City has seen more than its fair share. Despite the government's efforts to crack down on this surge in violence, it feels like a never-ending game of whack-a-mole. For every criminal they catch, another one seems to pop up. So, while Atlanta has its charm, it's also a place where you need to stay sharp and aware. Number 8. New Orleans, Louisiana Let's head down to New Orleans, Louisiana. Known as the Big Easy, this city is celebrated for its jazz, Mardi Gras, and, unfortunately, its crime rate. With a population of around 390,000, New Orleans certainly has a magnetic charm. But don't be fooled, its crime rate is a major issue that can't be overlooked. Violent crimes, property crimes, you name it, New Orleans has been grappling with them for years. Areas like Central City and the Seventh Ward are particularly notorious for their high crime rates, which means that while some parts of the city are all about celebration, others are more about staying cautious. The range of crimes here spans from burglaries to high-profile shootings. Despite ongoing efforts by local authorities to tackle these issues, crime remains a pressing concern. New Orleans is truly a city of contrasts. One moment you're immersed in vibrant festivals, and the next, you're confronted with daunting crime statistics. It's a place where you'll need to balance enjoying the party with staying alert. Number 7. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland, a city with a population of around 361,607, a number that's seen its ups and downs over the years. But it's not just the fluctuating numbers that stand out, it's the crime rate that really grabs your attention. With 60 crimes per 1,000 residents, Cleveland isn't exactly known for its safety. To put it bluntly, your odds of falling victim to a violent or property crime here are about 1 in 17. Yes, that's right. Now, let's get into the specifics. Some neighborhoods in Cleveland are so notorious, even Google Maps might think twice before recommending them. Scoville Avenue, for example, has earned the dubious honor of being the second most dangerous neighborhood in America. The crimes here range from grand theft to gang-related activities. It's a tough scene. 
Despite the city's efforts to combat this violence, newcomers should stay alert and cautious. It's always better to be safe than sorry. But Cleveland's issues don't stop there. The city has a long history of struggles, from environmental disasters like the infamous Cuyahoga River fire to racially charged confrontations. These historical events are more than just classroom lessons. They are a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges Cleveland faces. Number 6. Oakland, California Heading west, let's talk about Oakland, California. This city is a real mix of highs and lows. On one side, you've got an incredible cultural scene, a booming tech industry, and some seriously amazing food. On the flip side, Oakland has a bit of a reputation for being risky. With around 433,031 people living there, the city's crime rates, especially violent crimes, are a major concern. Oakland's efforts to tackle these issues are ongoing, but it often feels like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube that keeps changing colors. If you're thinking about moving to Oakland or just planning a visit, it's smart to stay informed and keep your wits about you. After all, being aware is half the battle. Number 5. Street Lewis, Missouri Street Lewis, known for its iconic gateway arch, is a symbol of the American frontier spirit. But beyond the historical charm and architectural wonders, there's a tougher side to the story. As of 2020, the city's population stood at 301,578, but it's the reality of life on the streets that's been grabbing headlines. With a staggering crime rate of 87 crimes per 1,000 residents, Street Lewis is making waves for all the wrong reasons. To put it in perspective, your chances of becoming a victim of a violent or property crime here are about 1 in 11. Downtown Street Lewis, in particular, has earned the dubious honor of having the highest crime rate among all city neighborhoods as of February 2024. What kinds of crimes are we talking about? Everything from homicides, with 158 reported in 2023, the lowest in a decade, believe it or not, to thefts, robberies, and assaults. It's a mix that keeps both the community and law enforcement on their toes. But it's not all bleak. The city is actively working to fight back, aiming to reduce violence and strengthen community ties. However, if you're planning a visit or a move, it's wise to steer clear of certain neighborhoods. And for a touch of dark humor, consider this. In Street Lewis, your odds of stumbling into trouble might be higher than finding a decent parking spot downtown during a Cardinals game. At number four, we have Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, affectionately known as Charm City, has a population that's been on a bit of a roller coaster. As of 2024, it's sitting at around 556,723 souls trying to make the best out of life. But despite its numbers, Baltimore's crime rate has been a thorn in its side for years. In 2021, the city had a violent crime rate of 1,922 per 100,000 residents. That means your chance of being a victim of violent crime in Baltimore was 1 in 64. Property crime, even more common with a 1 in 30 chance. Not exactly the odds you want to play with. Now, let's zoom in on the parts of the city that crank up Baltimore's rep for danger. The East Baltimore neighborhood known as Middle East takes the cake for being the most dangerous part of town. With a population of 7,100, this area is infamous for its urban decay and high crime rates, despite being a stone's throw from the prestigious Johns Hopkins Medical Center. But what's behind all this chaos? Well, Baltimore has been wrestling with issues like drug trafficking, gang violence, and a series of high-profile incidents have kept the city and the national headlines for all the wrong reasons. Remember the uproar following Freddie Gray's death in 2015? That was a tipping point, highlighting deep-seated tensions between the community and law enforcement. The city's leadership hasn't been sitting on their hands, though. Efforts to curb the violence have seen some success, with a notable reduction in homicides and non-fatal shootings in recent years. But it's an uphill battle, one that requires more than just policing to win. Economic development, education, and community programs are all part of the mix, aiming to provide alternatives to the cycle of crime. So, if you're planning a visit or thinking of moving to Baltimore, don't write it off just yet. Like any city, it has its good and its bad. 
The Inner Harbor, Federal Hill, and Fells Point are vibrant areas that showcase the city's charm. Just be street, smart, stay aware of your surroundings, and maybe avoid those late night strolls through the more notorious neighborhoods. Number three, Birmingham, Alabama. When you think of cities with a reputation that really stands out, Birmingham, Alabama often comes to mind, and not for the reasons most cities hope for. With a population of around 196,910 as of 2022, it might seem like just another southern town. But Birmingham has a lot more going on than just southern charm. The city's crime rate is something that would make even the toughest folks think twice. As of late 2023, Birmingham has a violent crime rate of 1,682 per 100,000 residents. To put that in perspective, if you gathered 100,000 people, nearly 17 of them would have fallen victim to a violent crime. And these aren't minor offenses. We're talking murder, manslaughter, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault. But it doesn't stop there. Certain neighborhoods in Birmingham, like North Central Birmingham, Ensley, Jones Valley, and Garden Highlands are notorious for their high levels of criminal activity. The crime scene here isn't limited to just violent offenses. Burglaries, thefts, and car thefts also contribute to the problem. In fact, the property crime rate is an astonishing 7,427 per 100,000 people. That means, for every 100,000 residents, about 7,427 would have experienced property crime. It's as if the city is playing a grim game of bingo, and nobody wants to call out bingo. Jokes aside, Birmingham's issues are rooted in a mix of socioeconomic challenges and historical context, with local authorities battling to curb the violence. From community policing to youth engagement programs, efforts to address these issues are ongoing but face significant hurdles. For those thinking about moving to Birmingham or just passing through, being aware of these challenges is crucial. It's not about avoiding the city but staying informed, exercising caution, and perhaps even getting involved in local efforts to make Birmingham a safer place for everyone. Number 2. Memphis, Tennessee Memphis, with its population around 633,104, according to the 2020 census, is a city known for its rich blues music and, unfortunately, its troubling crime statistics. The crime rate here is an eye-popping 237% higher than the national average. To give you a clearer picture, there were about 2,420 violent crimes per 100,000 residents in 2022. Imagine walking down Beale Street and feeling the weight of those numbers with every step you take. Certain areas of Memphis, like Downtown, Parkway Village, Oak Haven, and Whitehaven Coral Lake, are notorious for their high crime rates. In these neighborhoods, both residents and visitors need to stay on high alert. The range of crimes in Memphis includes a mix of burglaries, aggravated assaults, and an alarmingly high murder rate. It feels like the city is caught in a never-ending loop, with police sirens replacing the usual soundtrack of daily life. Despite the challenges, the Memphis Police Department is working hard to combat this violence, though it's an ongoing struggle. But it's not all bad news. Memphis is a city of resilience, with communities coming together and working towards a safer environment. For newcomers, staying aware, connecting with local safety initiatives, and getting involved in community efforts can make a real difference in turning things around. Number 1. Detroit, Michigan 